upon polio today, you look back upon what was really a summer plague. It came every year. It came like locusts. There was no prevention. There was no cure. There was no protection. I grew up in a family where there was a sense, you know, that my dad was a scientist. He actually would talk about how he used to, as a child, pray that he could do something good for humanity. He was the miracle worker in the white coat on the one hand, but he was also an incredibly hard-working, devoted scientist for whom people were willing to sacrifice. He was challenging medical orthodoxy. All of the people who mattered in virology, John Enders, Albert Sabin, Tom Rivers, and others, basically believed in a live virus vaccine. And here is Jonas Salt, someone who was younger, going in exactly the opposite direction. He was well aware of the early vaccine failures. The first attempt with an inactivated polio vaccine killed kids. It's a testament to his courage and resolve that he could inoculate children with something that he knew started out as live, dangerous polio virus. The stakes couldn't be higher. Vaccines are always a matter of risk versus reward, and nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. We didn't have to really be stimulated very much because up on the third floor was the polio ward where they had all the iron lungs. And I remember the faces on some of these kids, you know, in agony. Just picture your own two-year-old. It's just dreadful. The vaccination was 80 to 90 percent effective against paralytic poliomyelitis. The guy gets off the elevator. He never got into the room. It works, it works, they were yelling. There were newspaper reporters that ran to telephones to quickly get this as a front page headline on probably every newspaper in this country. Kids ran out into the street, factory whistles went off, church bells tolled. It was in a, in a way as if a war had ended. Jonas Salk became a national hero. You know, he was on the cover of Time. Newsweek called him one of the greatest Americans. President Eisenhower invited him to the White House and actually broke down. This is a, a sign of how great American medicine is at this time. It is an extraordinarily wonderful, optimistic moment, okay? And there is reason to be proud. Jonas Salk is the people's scientist. Whom do we remember? Sigmund Freud, Albert Einstein, Jonas Salk. It's perfect.